My name is David Mooney and I'm Head of Keyboard Studies here at TU Dublin Conservatoire and I've been here for 30 years actually and uh, the last 20 of them are as Head of Department. So we're here today because it's a big day for the Conservatoire. We're beginning our move of all our piano fleet up to the new building in Grange Gorman. So it's a very exciting day for all of us. A bit of a sad one as well because there's a lot of nostalgia attached to both buildings here, Chatham Row in particular, and our other building in Rathmines. So um, yeah, it's a, a very large undertaking. It's been years in the planning and finally we're here. I suppose one of the really exciting things about it is we finally, you know, after hundred, over a hundred years of waiting, we're going to a, a purpose-built facility, which is so important for music and drama because you need the specialist facilities. The exciting thing about this is the new facility in Grange Gorman really competes at world level. We finally are going to have world-class facilities for our staff and for the students. So it's very, very important, you know, when you're training actors and musicians that they get the chance to work in the real live type facilities that, that you would find you know, out in the world and um, particularly for music, access to the right type of instruments, but most importantly to have soundproofing and you know, proper concert halls, recital halls, so that they more or less mimic real life. So that when students graduate that they can say you know, that they've had the experience of performing live in, in the type of venues that they hopefully will spend their careers in. Chatham Row, I suppose, is the building that's most associated with the conservatoire. It used to be, in the old days, the school, the Municipal School of Music, and then it became DIT College of Music, and then became DIT Conservatory of Music and Drama, which we always felt was a rather long title, but now we're TU Dublin Conservatoire, part of TU Dublin, obviously. Um, but this, I think Chatham Row is probably, of the two buildings, the more iconic one, because it's in the city centre, people know it, people you know, they used to say you'd hear it before you see it because you would hear opera singers singing as you're walking down the street in the old days. But an awful lot of people, I suppose, what's most important is there's a huge legacy out of these buildings, particularly Chatham Row. I mean, a lot of world-class musicians studied here and some of these people are working in the major opera houses and orchestras of the world now. And of course, many have successful solo careers as well. But um, you know, there is a rich heritage and history coming out of this building and so people have a great fondness for it, even people who would have visited for concerts, um, not just people who worked here, studied here, but you know, people, the number of people I've met who said, you know, I was in there from the age of five or the age of six. Um, it has a very, very strong bond for lots and lots of people. Um, and that's, that nostalgia is very palpable at the moment. I must say it's, it's quite emotional leaving it actually because you know, these walls, if they could talk, you know, there's so much music in the walls and there's so much, there's so many stories in the walls and there's so much history, great teachers, great, great performers, you know, so it's very rich. Of course, that will all continue when we move, so we're not losing that. But I think on a different level, what they will get is the, the chance to interact with other disciplines. At the moment, music and drama are confined to two buildings, essentially drama are in one building, they're in Rathmines. But you know, they, they miss out on that college experience of having people from other disciplines around them. So they will, they will now be in a building with art, design, media, law, social science. And then in the wider campus, you have the rest of all of the TU Dublin faculties and, and disciplines that they will interact with. And being on a campus with other students is bound to have an enormous effect on them, I think, both socially, but also from an educational point of view, because music and drama, because of the type of arts that they are, they can be sometimes a little bit myopic and introspective because we're so wrapped up with what we do. So of course part of the, the reason we're sitting here today is because the, the pianos are moving. And three harpsichords, a forte piano, three pipe organs, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a huge amount of work actually. And uh, it's been in the planning for a long, long time. But we couldn't let the occasion go without trying to at least acknowledge and record that this is a huge event. You know, we talk about 90 pianos crossing the Liffey. Um, it, it's probably not as glamorous as it sounds, and maybe it's not glamorous at all, but the fact is, you know, we are moving our entire selves over to a new facility, and the logistics of that, you know, are challenging in themselves. Pianos are not easy to move, so uh, it's going to be interesting around here for the next few days to watch pianos coming downstairs loaded onto vans and then the delivery at the other end which actually is going to be quite easy because the other building is purpose-built and was designed with the movement of pianos in mind so if you could take your typical uh, concert grand piano is nine foot long 
you know, um, that's not something you want to be carrying down the stairs, but unfortunately that's what's going to have to happen. <laughs>